I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, but the comment sections on YouTube videos are like a zoo for morons, idiots, and crybabies. You have been warned. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a UV5R or similar UV type radio to talk to and listen to regular MERS, FRS, and GMRS radios. This should be a quick and easy video. It's just a couple of steps, just a couple of things to know. But before I get started, I would like to congratulate my neighbors who are getting a swimming pool installed and are apparently blasting through 10 feet of solid granite. So if you hear any noise, explosions, anything like that in the background, you don't need to leave a comment. It's not the third coming of Xenu. It's just the neighbors building their swimming pool that they'll probably never use. I'm going to use my Baofeng UV5R and one of my favorite radios, the Ocean. Wooshin. Wooshin. I've seen entire arguments in YouTube comments over the right way to pronounce Ocean or Wooshin. You don't need to prove how smart you are to everybody by leaving a comment arguing over the right way to pronounce it. Nobody cares. My Ocean Wooshin whatever. KG805G. This is a FCC Part 95 legal GMRS radio. The Baofeng is a ham radio. Now, when I go through this demonstration, I'm not actually going to transmit from the Baofeng radio. I'll be transmitting from the GMRS radio to the Baofeng radio, but you would be able to transmit from the UV5R. I'm not going to do it because if I were to do that in a video, all of the sad hams would be literally shitting themselves and breaking their fingers to be the first one to leave comments saying that it's illegal to transmit from the UV5R on GMRS or MERS frequencies. And then if I do that, I'll go to jail and airplanes will fall from the sky and dogs and cats will be sleeping together. So I won't be transmitting from the UV5R in this video. Oh. Hello, what are you doing here? This video isn't about ham radio or ham radio frequencies. It's about GMRS and FRS MERS frequencies. It has nothing to do with ham radio. Sad Ham says that his FCC YouTube police badge gives him authority over transmitting on any frequencies over all of YouTube. He wants me to remind everybody that transmitting on the UV5R would be a violation of the law if you don't have a ham license and if you're not transmitting on ham bands. Why the sad ham cares about FRS and MERS and GMRS frequencies, I don't know because they have nothing to do with it. Uh, okay, shut up. Nobody cares. If you want to learn more about how and why using the Baofeng UV5R is not legal on GMRS, MERS, or FRS frequencies, watch that video. Okay, so to get started, I've got my UV5R here and my Wuxin KG805G GMRS radio here. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that on the other radio, the GMRS radio, the FRS radio, the MERS radio that you're trying to talk with, it could be the cheap little uh, $29 Walmart radios that say nine mile range or 20 mile range. Those are generally FRS radios. You need to make sure that there are no security codes, security or privacy tones or sub channels programmed on the radio. Some of these radios come with sub channels or privacy. They are not private at all. Don't fall for the marketing. Some of them come with those tones from the factory. So you're going to need to go in and remove those tones. Some of the radios, for example, some of the Motorola's come with these tones baked in and you cannot remove them. You're going to have to read your manual to see how to remove the tones. If you can remove it or if they're non-removable, you'll have, it should say that in the manual. If you have one of those cheap little radios that doesn't allow you to remove the tones or security sub channels or whatever they call it. If you have one of those radios, send it back, get your money back. So how you actually remove those tones depends on the radio that you have. You will have to read the words in your manual in most cases to figure out how to do that. 
or to see if there's any tones on. If you go through all these steps and it doesn't work, or you can hear on one radio, but you can't hear on the other radio, that means there's a tone in your FRS or GMRS radio and you're gonna have to remove it. So you will have to consult the user manual. And I swear to God, if I see one comment that says, but I threw away my manual, I don't know what to do. It's called Google. Go to your Google machine, type in user guide for whatever your radio brand and model is, and you'd be amazed at what you find. You also wanna make sure that there's no codes on your Baofeng. Usually there will not be any codes on the Baofeng radio unless you put them in. So looking at my Baofeng, just as a refresher on what you're seeing here on the screen, there's two lines of channels or frequencies. And there's that small little carrot or cursor indicating that right now we are on the lower frequency. Now to do the changes that we're gonna be making, we need to make sure we're in VFO or frequency mode and you switch that mode by using this orange button. Frequency mode. So now we're in frequency mode. Channel mode. Now we're in channel mode. So I wanna go back to frequency mode. Frequency mode. And just for the fun of it, I wanna work on this upper frequency. You can listen to two frequencies at the same time on this radio. I'm gonna switch to the upper frequency that I'm, and I'm gonna do that by using the AB button. Okay, so we were gonna to check to make sure that there were no tones or codes on the Baofeng. They would normally only be there if you put them there, but if you see the little tone indicator, which you can see right there, that indicates there's a tone. So to remove that tone, I'm gonna go in to the menu and I'm gonna look for the CTCSS or RTCSS menu option to remove that tone. So I'm gonna scroll through the menu Menu. Go up. Okay, there it is right there. Menu option number 11. Receive CTCSS tone is set at 67 hertz. That would, if that was there, that would prevent me from hearing the other radio. So I'm going menu. to remove that. I'm going to turn that off by selecting that menu option, hitting menu again. So now it's gonna allow me to change that menu option. I'm gonna use the up and down arrow keys and set it to off and hit menu again Confirm. to save it. I'm gonna hit exit. And now you will see that that CT little icon there is gone. So there's no tones on this frequency on my Bofwang radio. So to get this radio and this radio to talk, and again, it could be a GMRS radio, it could be an FRS radio, one of those cheap, inexpensive, adult-type walkie-talkies. When, when you go to Walmart and it says, or you go on Amazon and it says, adult walkie-talkie, that's not what you think. It means it's not a child's toy. So the adult, grown-up walkie-talkies are usually uh, FRS. If it's a GMRS radio, it will be labeled GMRS because then you need the license. If you don't have your GMRS license and you have a GMRS radio, check that link it's very easy to get the license they're going to be dropping the price any day now so it's only going to be 35 dollars for 10 years get your gmrs license okay so i forgot what i was saying but it had something to do with uh you can have an frs radio a mers radio they don't sell many of those anymore they're not as popular but they are out there yes we're going to see three or four comments from two people that think mers is the greatest thing ever so to get these two to talk, we just have to get them on the same frequency. It's very easy to do. The difficult part is that the GMRS, the FRS, and the MERS radios all use channels. So you can see I've got channel 22, 21. I've got a label on those channels. The Bofwang only has frequencies unless you stored a name or a label using the software into the radio. So by default, it's only gonna show frequency. So what you need is a, a cross-reference. So you know when you're looking at the frequency on your Baofeng, you know what channel it is on the other radio, so you can match them up. So I put together a web page at notarubicon.com. I'll have a link in the information section below to take you right to it. That will show you all the different frequencies for GMRS, FRS, and MERS, along with their power settings, so you can decide what frequency or, or channel to use with your friends so that you can match them up.
the reason that makes a difference is because on the GMRS or FRS radios, the FRS radios are all low power. The MERS radios are all low power. So it won't matter so much. If you're using a real GMRS radio, you have choices. You can go uh, up to 50 watts if it's a mobile radio. Handheld radios usually go up to five watts, but some channels can only transmit at half a watt. So by picking the right channel, you may be able to transmit at higher power. So here are the MERS frequencies. And these are the GMRS and FRS frequencies, not including repeater channels, because we're not talking about repeaters today. FRS GMRS channel one has a GMRS power maximum of five watts. Here's the frequency. Channels eight through 14 are limited to half a watt. So when you're talking on a real GMRS radio, you could, the radio is capable of transmitting legally and will do so generally up to five watts on these channels, only half a watt on channels eight through 14 and up to 50 watts on channels 14 through 22. This is one of the reasons why we always choose channel 16 because it's a high power channel. We can talk legally on our GMRS radios up to 50 watts. So I'm gonna choose channel 16, which means I am now transmitting and receiving on 462575 megahertz. So now, all I need to do is put that frequency into the buff wang and we will be in business. If I press buttons and it just beeps at me, why are you beeping? Why are you beeping? It's because it's locked. Press and hold. If you look closely, you will see a little blue key or lock or something that indicates lockage. Press and hold that for a few seconds. Oh, you'll also see up here a little lock indicator. Press and hold the lock key to unlock it. Unlock. Radio is now unlocked. I want to make sure that I'm looking at the right frequency that I want to change, in which case this is the upper line. If I wanted to do it on the lower line, I would just press the AB button. You just need to be aware of what you're looking at. So where I'm on the upper line here, this is the frequency I'm going to change. And you want to make sure you're in frequency mode. Channel mode. That was Now I'm in channel mode. The frequency has changed because I'm on some other channel. Now I'm going to go back to frequency mode. Frequency mode. So I'm on frequency mode. I'm on the upper frequency. I want to use frequency 462575. So now that assuming the radio is still not locked, I just need to type that in on the keypad. Four, six, two, five, seven, five. Okay. I'm on the upper frequency. We're going to ignore. It doesn't matter. Oh, it just so happens that I already had 462575 on the lower frequency. It didn't matter. That was coincidence, probably because I was playing with it before I started this video. All that matters, all we care about that, that we would be transmitting on if we were transmitting, which we're not going to do. We're not going to do. All we care about is this upper frequency here. So I make sure I'm on that upper frequency. If I was on the lower frequency for some reason, I press AB. Now I'm back on the upper frequency. Now, to prevent accidentally screwing it up by accidentally pushing a button when I put it in my pocket or set it down, I'm going to lock it again by pressing and holding the lock button. Lock. Now I have the lock indicator. Now I can press any button I want. Doesn't matter. Keypad is locked. So now, I'm on frequency 462575, which when I look at my handy dandy, not a Rubicon.com translator page tells me that 462575 is GMRS or FRS channel 16. And my radio, my G, uh, GMRS radio, Ocean KG805G, affiliate links below, will transmit it up to 50 watts if it's capable. This radio is only capable of transmitting at 5 watts if I was using the Ocean KG1000G, affiliate link below, mobile radio, I can transmit it up to 50 watts. So now, in theory, if I did this right, and if I didn't screw it up, I will be able to talk on this radio and listen on this radio, radio fully legally because I can transmit, if I have my GMRS license on this radio, I can listen to anything I want on this radio without transmitting. We all know that transmitting on this radio on GMRS frequencies 
even if you have a GMRS license, even if you have a ham radio operator's license, this radio is not approved by the FCC to use non-ham frequencies. So we're just going to listen on this. In theory, you could press the push to talk and talk, and the person on this radio would hear you. But we're not going to do that because that would be illegal. So let's see if it worked. I've got my Boff Wang at 462575. I've got my KG805G, affiliate links below, on channel 16. I'm going to press the push to talk button, and if everything goes to plan, this radio will light up. Let's see what happens. Push to talk. Receiving. And it works, as expected. Now we're picking up some neighbors. I'm going to take off this antenna. So it's not so sensitive and doesn't pick up everybody down the street. The local Chick-fil-A transmits on this frequency. Do it again. Push to talk here. It's receiving there. That's all there is to it. Basically decide what channel you want to use. Look up the frequency for that channel. Put that frequency in your Baofeng UV5R. If you have any questions about using your Baofeng UV5R, or your GMRS radio, or questions about GMRS radios in general, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer. If I'm not able to answer it, somebody else will. They'll probably get it wrong. Remember, comment sections on YouTube videos are like a zoo for idiots, morons, and crybabies. Stupid comments, dickhead comments, will be pinned to the top for everybody to marvel at. So think twice before you say something stupid. I will reply. I don't let it slide like those other YouTubers. I'll call you out. I will let you know just how stupid you are. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the trip.